Hello guys, this is MX and TXS and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with another player review, this time on Zhao Pedro. Now, I wanted to do a review on this card for a while, but of course I was too broke. But now, I have some coins and I bought him and hopefully he is insane. I mean, 10 people already had this card that I bought and I mean, 662 goals is insane. But nonetheless, boys, before I do get into it, do make sure to like and subscribe and let's get straight to it. He has 4 star, 4 star. I like to see that. Take a look at his attributes. The pace looks amazing. 93, 88 shooting, 80 passing, 92 dribbling and 78 physical. The shooting stats as well look pretty, pretty good. 92 attack positioning. I love to see that. Finishing is great as well. Passing 87, short pass. I like that as well. Dribbling 75 balance. Now that is an issue. I've heard that on the PS4 version, he is kind of ass. It's not great so i'm kind of concerned because that's the version that i play on so yeah but anyways 99 heading accuracy lovely scenes 99 jumping as well 95 stamina and 83 strength so overall i mean he looks pretty good take a look at his playstyles he has only one which is the rapid playstyle so he has basically nothing so yeah this is a team that will be using him in boys and yeah let's get into the first match Right, Jao Pedro, that was already nice. Oh, actually, he doesn't feel that slow. Oh, he's already through. We're going to take a shot. And, okay, that just went completely wide. But, you know what? That's a good start. All right, Jao Pedro is on the ball. I mean, his pace does feel pretty good. He's through. Unlucky. Jao Pedro, he's through. Surely, Travella, that. Oh, my God. The luck is fucking terrible on him right now. I don't know how he's not scoring. Jao Pedro, good cross. Oh my god, man. No, no. I don't want a repeat of the fucking Welbeck video where my luck was fucking shite. Jao Pedro on the header. And he scores. Let's go. Jao Pedro. Chip that. Oh, unlucky. Jao Pedro, good positioning. He still has the ball. Can we go all the way? Oh my god, my luck is actually insane, boys. I do everything right, and then of course he catches me. And we have a rage quit, boys. Jao Pedro, very, very, very unlucky. Nine shots, man. He should at least have a hat trick, man. The luck has been insane today, boys. I don't know what the fuck's happening with this game. But nonetheless, he actually feels really good in game. So I'm glad to see that. On to the next match. Right, Jao Pedro is on the ball already. Hopefully we can have some more magic from him. Oh, Jao Pedro, good positioning. There you go. I'm glad that he got himself a goal instantly, boys, and there's no bullshit. And I take that back. What the fuck? I'm keeping that bullshit in. It, my, I, I don't know what the fuck I witnessed there. Yo, Pedro. Yo, Pedro. There you go. Two shots, two goals. Yo, Pedro. Yo, Pedro. He's through again. That's another shot. What the fuck? Yo, Pedro. Oof. His dribbling is so good, boys. I'm not going to lie. Like, he feels rapid. Like, it's insane how fast he is in, in game. Can we score from here? Ah, I'm lucky there. All right, boys. I'm leaving after that bullshit, bruv. Three bounces in a row went straight back to him. And then he got himself a fucking foul when it was not a foul. So, you know what? After that bullshit, fuck that. I'm going to count that match, of course. Jao Pedro got himself two goals in that match. So, you know what? I'm just going to count that match. Because that was complete fucking bullshit. It was just a typical rat abusing broken tactics completely bullshit always nonetheless on to the final fucking game boys i'm not even gonna count this match bro this guy has an insane fucking team i'm not even gonna bother all right shall pedro please do something that's not what i wanted shall pedro please keep going good shoot how Bruv, and the fact they even got a hand to it is crazy. But you know what? That was a lucky goal. Jao Pedro, good positioning. We need to get through nicely. Fuck, man. Back to this bullshit where he can't score. Jao Pedro, good positioning. He's going to take his keeper out. And what a finish from Jao Pedro. Let's go. Jao Pedro on the header. Fucking hell. 99 heading accuracy. My ass. Jao Pedro, keep going, that's good, unlucky, Loris keeps fucking at me. Jao Pedro on the header, are you kidding me? 99 heading accuracy, where? Jao Pedro, good pass into Anthony, who is 
Unbelievable, Rev. How do you miss a Whitey Travella that? Shall Pedro? Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful. Didn't actually expect to go through there and score, but you know what? Xiao Pedro made it happen. Xiao Pedro. Oh, at least he headed it on a target for once. Xiao Pedro. Surely. Let's go. Xiao Pedro. He's through again. What the. F I, man, I don't understand. I don't understand this game's shooting mechanics, man. I don't get how that shot was that fucking horrendous, boys. Like, what the fuck? And we have a win, boys. Let's go. Good way to finish off the matches. 5-2 victory right there. Xiao Pedro walking away with a player of the match with four goals. I didn't even know he scored that many, but 14 shots is insane. Like, it's such a weird card. But anyways, on to the final stats. So in three games, seven goals. You know what? Not that bad. I mean, Welbeck basically had the same return rate, which is pretty impressive then. But this card is way, way more fun to use in game, boys. If you are actually good at the game, this card is going to be insane for you. Because I am very, very average, very bang average in this game right now. This game has not clicked for me like FIFA 23. So I, I don't know what the fuck's wrong with this game for me. But nonetheless, Jao Pedro, I would highly recommend for people that know how to play the game as he is really, really fast. The pace is not a lie. It's really good. Really, really fun to use. Shooting is, I'm blaming it on the game. I'm blaming that shit on the game because it's actually insane how badly sometimes it goes. Like the shot that I missed there with 92 finishing is crazy. The heading accuracy as well. I had three of them go completely wide. So I, yeah, I'm blaming that shit on the game. But except for that, full star, full star, I personally didn't mind it too much. If you guys don't mind it as well, then yeah, this card is very, very good for you. Dribbling as well was actually really solid. Physical as well, it wasn't horrible. It's just the lack of play styles, I'm guessing. That's the main issue with this card, in my opinion. Because everything else was actually good. I actually had a good time with it. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10, boys, because he is really, really good. But I'm really, really shit at the same time. So, it, like, he gets a lot of chances because of his positioning. His positioning is fantastic, boys. Like, he gets in the right spots every single time almost. His dribbling as well, really, really agile on the ball. And I love that. I love the way he just glides with the ball. It's beautiful. Literally changed the way the gameplay was for me, basically. Because my whole team is so shit for some reason. Then I put him in the team and then the whole team started performing way better with him. So, even though I did lose a match and stuff and I rage quit... It was still more enjoyable than what I was using before. So, you know what? That's a big thumbs up from me. So, if you did enjoy this video, boys, do make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.